Hey guys, it's the Xbox Not Here. Back with part four of how to make a seven segment display and a decoder. Blah blah blah. I've neatened it all out. I've put inverters in a row here. And you'll see why in a second. But basically, next step after you've done this, just, you know, just a couple of extenders here. It's nice to have them all in the same length. So some of them have extenders, some don't. Uh, all the way, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all the way back of lines of redstone out of these uh, seven segments. Don't know why I'm doing this. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Uh, whoops. I'll just be right back, I'll get my redstone. Be right back. Okay, we're back. We've got more redstone. Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> the only reason I'm not cutting this out is just because I feel it's a lot easier for people to understand if I don't cut as much, if I try to keep the cutting to a minimum just so you know that there's not much I'm doing that you won't be doing if that makes sense okay and once you've got that done you want to decide you want to decide which side you're going to be having whatever like there are a couple of add-ons you can have like you can have an adder for what you know what you've seen you can have a calculator or whatever you can have a counter Whichever one you want to choose, doesn't matter. Uh, you want to have the inputs on that side. So let's say I was going to have a counter here. I'd put the, I'd start my decoder here with a block there, one away from the redstone. Otherwise, you'd put it on the other side. I'm going to put it on this side because it's next to the water. And then you want to, yeah, basically copy what I'm doing. This, oh, I'm going to do it in stone, stone's nicer. You want one stone up one block away from here. Skip one. Skip one this way. Here. And then just putting one there saves you putting the corner. Putting a block at the corner. One, two. Well, there'll be a torch there, so this is where the power starts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. But you get a space free. Two spaces free. And you just want to repeat that, usually nine times or however many you want for your chosen thing of a jig. Three, four, five, six. I'll just do six for now. Probably won't finish them all. Uh, I'm playing on a Mac with a trackpad. I'm not using the mouse, so that's why it's taking a bit longer for me to right click. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty. Easy way to do this: just randomly clicking on the sides as you look around. Really. Oh, I'll catch up. There, okay, and once you've done that, go back to your input. Do do do. A couple of bits of redstone up here for your input, whatever that may be. And then a torch on the top of each of them. Not there. Not there either. So what this does, it programs in when, for example, when this one will be activated, only the torches that will be put on whichever segments. Let's say I'll, sh I'll give you an example just randomly. When this is on, let's say let's just call this number one. Number one will be shown on the screen, as in hopefully our number one but obviously it's not the number one it's that retarded segment 
So number one will be those two, for example. Pro, uh, find out which one that is. Program in the torches. Not really program them in, but you know what I mean. Place them where number one is, corresponding to which segments are in which order. I put the far most right ones for the one on here. So because we've got that one on, a one will be shown. Yay! And then you just you how I don't know if you laid my yours out the same as mine, but you'd go through the numbers whichever order you want them in. Um and yeah, put in which where the torches are. So and be careful if this torch was above here, obviously that wouldn't work. And there must be a space between them. And unfortunately you can't have there's nothing saying that if this is on that has to be off. It's just you have to make sure all of them are off apart from the one you want. You can't override it and make it change the number. And I'm just trying to give you all the facts and figures about what this does or not facts and figures so that I'm I'm not gonna actually build it in front of you because I'm just gonna be placing the torches. Um yeah, be careful also. We've gone fifteen. Once you're here, I can fit another one in. Because I'm cool. Maybe two. Yeah, I can fit two in. Because it doesn't actually have to be under here. But I'm not going to because you have to have extenders here. Extenders going this way because it's it's the input to the screen. Hopefully, you will know how to make an extender. If you don't, here's a tutorial on how to do it. Not like that. It doesn't matter where the output's coming out of; it can come out over here as long as the input, just like this the screen blocks is going in like that. If you do that, it doesn't make a difference. If you do that, however, it does. This extends the power. Oh, I forgot to put talk a bit there. Yeah, so. There you go. They're all off apart from the ones over here. If I were to do that it the only reason it's not activating is because we've already seen that that's on and it's programming a one so yeah this is part four thank you for watching when we come back next time i will have completed my decoder and i'll be thinking about what we should add on to this maybe i'll show you how to build one of my counters which might take a while which is quite annoying so what we did we just laid them out nicely and neatly Cor uh, put a torch corresponding to whichever segment you want lit to show the number. Another example I'll probably do just now uh, to find it. You just go. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh gosh, redstone up here, just like that. Wow, that would have been fatal. Hopefully, none of you were thinking. Let's quit now because he's I always look at the time of the episode or the YouTube video before I think I'm going to stop watching because if someone says thanks for watching see you next time and there's half an hour left you're not going to quit are you so yeah hopefully you'll realise that there's about a minute afterwards after I said that um, but I've already done the first four so quickly I'll show you number two you will need the top one which is this segment you will also need, uh, so, it's actually there, this one, and so basically I'm looking at, a f yeah I'm looking at a 5, am I? Yeah, I'm looking at a 5 here, so, this one 
I believe. This one. And one more. This one. That one goes to the middle, yes. Yes, so that so that should be a two. And it's a two. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for part five where we do something else. See you next time.